hard mode. Excelsior. I think it's called Excelsior. Caliban, the Empire needs our help. Excelsior class. Now, I think I was doing it wrong, and I, th I think the strategy that I developed during normal runs was fine for normal, but not so good for um, hard. To the point that I think it was actually detrimental. And I think a lot of that is in the um, one in the map layout, but also the way we're doing fights. Okay. Carl P. Opper is ready. Who's Carl P. Opper? Man, these guys are just not ready. Oh, it'd be cool if it told you how long. Unless it's random. Unless they pull a random one up. Carl P. Opper is a scientist that does have demolition. Okay, weapon and comes with weapon reload time. So it has a useful in combat and out of combat stuff. Hey Twig, I was just I was just fixing the fan. Yeah, it's a real cheapo. It has a um, um, just the plastic set of blades that just come off the the uh, rotating stem. It only gets I only just pulled it out a couple of days ago. Just going into the warmer weather. Right, so we're going to pick up a um, a spy. I personally like a spy that gets persuasion and sharp senses. Unfortunately, both of our spies have discretion and then only one of the other two. So we're going to take the one that gives us the best um, chance in combat. And both of them are kind of ordinary. Heat sustained by systems for battleship weapons is pretty cool. It does mean you're going to do a lot of extra um, heat. So you can use... We do start with a... It's like a piercing laser, Mark 1. So it's, um, that's, that's okay. The two DPS to enemies adjacent to your battleship is kind of cool if you fall behind, but I think in, I, I just think if you're in that situation, you're in a lot of poop. Um, however, having two, um, weapon system officers is not the greatest at the start. I think persuasion though, maybe. It's a tough call. We can always move one, I think, if we get a fire somewhere else. We'll just put them there. And in normal two, we'd been sort of really pushing the ground crews, which I think is wrong since we're starting with less scrap. I think getting ground ones later when you've got the um, the objectives covered, but early I think you're just wanting the anomalies, and especially in sector one, I think we're wanting the um, the fights because we're more likely to win a fight than win a ground control mission. I wonder if having an extra dead jump matters. Like that's effectively an anomaly at the ground one. Like, do not take the ex like the the potential dead jumps. Either way, we're going to be taking one of these bridges. I think, yeah. Um, so that's going to give us two, three, four, five anomalies. I don't think we can get. Can we get a two? Three? We can get six anomalies, but it is only four total sectors. 
which then negates one jump, which is normally an opening fight. So I don't think we want that. Um, and we probably want to be going to here, which does mean we're going to push into that one. We don't have to take the ground ones either if we're there. We don't know what ship, what type of shop that is. We have Battleship Wreckage, which is usually scrap, versus Planetary Defense Turret, which I think is a weapon. Both good early. Okay. Hi, Dr. Tanaka. Hey, everybody. Let's get into it. We would like to fight you, please. Oh. But I wanted to fight them. Hey, we got fuel scavenging efficiency up and a fuel. That's a high roll, if ever we had one. Means the next one's only 45 and we're done. That's really good. Okay, so... Definitely not the greatest, but acceptable. Oh, um... We're talking about the super giant games. I've got uh, Adam Sims just gave me a key for Bastion, which is one of their earlier. I don't know if it's their first first, but out of their oh, we got the we got it. That's a cannon, which is not my not one of my favourite weapons, but I think having a second weapon early is really strong. Now, if we retreat. <coughs> Bring back all the loot and say and three die. We're only planning on losing between zero and five, I think it was, or between zero and six. So I think we cancel the treat and push on. Transistor plays. Yeah, so I think the three and so does Hades, right? Um so I think Pi was something just slightly different that they went for. Um I I've heard not much at all, but nothing negative about Pyre. People have just said it's good, but... Transistors like Bastion and Fallout's VATS? What do you mean by VATS? Oh, Fallout's VATS, but with Bastion? How does that work? Okay, now we're gonna have to... Now we're definitely gonna have to try it out, right? Okay, we only lost two commandos. The two fuel is huge. Like, that. not only is that 40 scrap worth of rewards, but the fact that you get fuel... It is just worth so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you, um, where it's like paused and uh, percentage base. All right, we get a, we get to have a fight. It's a tarp, people. It's a tarp. All right, they've got eight squadrons. Wow, eight squadrons already. Um, and a flat cannon. Okay, we can only put one person there. So it's gonna be um, weapon reload. Put the other person there for the time being. Um, we want a frigate and a fighter. So let's pull the drone back, put the frigate out. Um, their drones are gonna be up front, so we can put the fighter up front anyway. Um, we'll probably need to move that fighter and then we'll put them further back. Okay, so they're coming straight down here with the drones. So the fighter's what we have to worry about. We don't want the fighter getting to... Well, getting to our fighters isn't too big a deal. Wow, they just sacrificed their own dudes. All right, let's get our fighters back in. Let's see, let's recall everyone. The name of the game is Play It Slow. Okay, they're choosing to put fighter out and drones, so we're going to want to have those fighters back out, but the fighters are weak. <clears throat> but 
so is their drone, so we the fighter outfighters might not have to do that much. Um And we can just eliminate their frigate straight away, or their fighters straight away, so it's gonna be um like outfighters and some drones. We're gonna try and hold off on putting these fighters of ours out. I think we can attack them now. I want to actually go for their weapon. We're not going to get it in time though. Oh, I should have pulled my fighters back in there. So, <clears throat> I've gone and, like, botched the first fight because I thought we had time. So clearly time is not there. You just wait it out. And this is where we're like, oh, I wish we had that DPS option. Uh, let's get this frigate out. just shows the value of patience, which I clearly don't have. Okay, so we're gonna have to try and, <clears throat> yeah, play Transistor. It sounds fun. We did pick up a Fighter 2 Ghost. I think the plan for this ship is preferably to not patch your ships, p potentially repair them, um, and pull them back after each wave, and just go skirmish to skirmish. And then basically when your opponent runs out of uh, ships, then you go after them. We have fuel, so I think I'm gonna go for some of the gonna go for one of these. Because if we get a little bit of scrap, we can get our extra fuel extraction for the um for this um it's not called a sector, what's it called? A star jump. Ah, oh, here we go, there's the scrap. So it's only just worth the fuel, but I think that's fine. Let's just give him a chance to surrender. And he can give us his scrap as well. Alright, now we're definitely, because we're taking a star jump, we're definitely upgrading the fuel scavenging. Putting the extra weapon out there is a, a, a maybe, but we should be fine for this jump. Let's put up those guys. Do we have a countdown timer for the PoE League? Chromo, you'd know this. Chromo? Uh, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Or we go... Oh, wait, no. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Obviously, Path of Exile will get added into the um, the mix on League Start. Anyway, Aki fight fighter. Good luck, Admiral. Okay, they're putting out fighters and fighters, and they have a sub zero. That's fine. We've got our bigger fighters and frigates, and they've only got four, so. We just wait them out. 
I need to probably... That's nice of them to show up there. Actually, we can... What are they putting out? Putting out drones and fighters. So again... Those drones are going to start moving pretty much straight away, yeah? So we might hold off on the... Um... If sub zero doesn't do any damage, I will accept that. Okay. Oh, oh, man, that was so close. Okay, there's a cryopod here. So even if we get a low dude, we don't want to be having to replace too many dudes, though. Nikita Gekas. Oh, we've got a um, a specialist for the Mori Morm Worm 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 whatever dude. It's such a gross event. Hopefully, they have something really cool for us. Two fuel is very cool. Thank you. Hack the planet. Okay. We have a good chance here. Fingers crossed. Bless RNGs. All the bless RNGs. Oh. Carl Popper. Okay, come on, Carl. Carl. Looking fine, Carl. Just try not to get everyone killed. I mean, oh, Vasilisa. All right, we lost one clone Mando. We did get a hundred scrap in, so that's nice. Hundred fourteen, even. Um, but no cryopod, which would have been really good. Uh, in case there's a fight at the army depot, I think we're going to get that weapon online. Or... Or... No, we're going to get the weapon online. And fuel is looking great. I wanted to set a almost set a position where we don't buy fuel. Um, just because we have fully upgraded. Well, as fully as we can get it. There is one more you can get, in which case you'd almost never buy fuel. This one's sort of teetering. Keep an eye on it. You, you could almost say something along those lines, Chromo, about... Carl not popping up if, if you really felt you needed to let's get this weapon online it's not my favorite weapon but it's a weapon and we'll hold on to it until we get a, a much better option you did and you did finger guns in your office because you're in an office by yourself all alone are there other desks and other computers in the office? Like, or is, is have they just rented you like a cubicle <clears throat> in, the, in the corner of some building somewhere? Is there a front desk? Like, does the door to your office, is it just a, a, a flat wooden door that could be mistaken for like a janitor's closet? 
like if someone walked past in the hallway is there like glass sliding doors like offices that might <laughs> and there's a reception area but no reception you're just somewhere out the back multiple businesses all with one front desk okay so you've got a shared receptionist that probably that, that gets paid for by the oh nice we can rob the pirate ship oh uh, do we have someone i didn't check you need to know this for the pirate um you need to have someone that's also got um i think erudition which i'm pretty sure we do Okay, so she... So you need a spy. Um, yeah, so we've got erudition there, the scientist. So you need, you need book sparts to, to actually get the stuff. And I think you need whatever that last one is on spies. You can never mouse over it, though. She pretends the last... Okay, so then your office is, are you, <clears throat> have you just got like basically, uh, oh, so it's like, you should have take photos, get photos for me, I'm curious. Wait, so that day that you had to put the shoe on your head, it didn't actually do anything, no one, like no one would have cared. Uh, fair enough. No photos is fine. What about a what about a mud map? Can you can you sketch me like a? No, just 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 in case I need to um, send a remote device to the correct location. Oh, Twig's the receptionist. Hi, hi, Jessica. Uh, are we buying one of these? A 10 by 10 room with a desk in it. <clears throat> yeah, so if you walk... I'm guessing there's a door on that room, right? So if you walk out there, are you looking like at another door for someone else that has a 10 by 10? And then you turn to the side and there's a, an office next to you with another 10 by 10? So there's like four of you and then, and then a front space? Now, Chromo's, Chromo works at a location all by himself, which is which is weird. 10 by 10 is a big office. Yeah, but it, that's right. It's a big office, but that's his entire business. So anything outside of the office is communal. 10 by 10 is not huge. It's still pretty decent, though. Like 10 foot, not 10 meters tweak. The receptionist is communal. Not like that, Moogle. Um, let's get some commandos. Because I only have two. Ah, Moogle. I'm going to get an extra something. I think we go frigate here. Because we've got drones. So now we have two frigates, two drones, two fighters. I'm a bit iffy about not buying fuel. Just because we don't have a lot. It's, I'm on the fence with the fuel. It's really tough to gauge. So in, in your complex, like... I've never seen it. I've never seen one that's got had a like. I've worked in offices that have had like the buildings had shared offices, but where they've been you know bigger like bigger offices. So each each business has their own front desk, and people have to sort of enter the building and then go to the 
the internal front, like you go through the building front door and then each business has its own internal front door, which leads you into their reception. And then they've got their, you know, behind the receptionist, they've either got like their offices and just cubicles and stuff. But I've never seen a place that's just had a front desk for individual offices that are all like just in like individual businesses, which is... <clears throat> Yeah, so basically you've just got a, 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 a... You basically just have a cubicle, right? Yeah, so the one... That's what I'm talking about, Moogle. Like, I've been in a... Uh, I've worked in a bunch of places that have suites like that, but not with one... Re and the building doesn't have a receptionist, but each suite might have a receptionist. And some of them don't. Like, some of them might just be... They don't... Like, they, they don't take public so they don't need one fourteen by fourteen rooms. Yeah that can hold a couple desks though right small startup company. I don't think we're buying anything else. And like a hotel for business, yeah. Although I'm happy with this outcome, I think going here might have been a better option. One, for the anomaly. But two, also, it gives me a choice of which one of these. The office pick on Discord. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So outside that door and those two windows, does that look across a hall at like someone who's got pretty much the exact same thing as you? Is there just four of those rooms? You, know, you guys share a bathroom and a, and, a, and a break room? And a receptionist? Right. So it would be as if... If you had a business that was just like, let's go with four lawyers that all work together and they were called Four Lawyers and Co. They had a receptionist, they each had an office. Except in this case, you have four different businesses. Which means the communal room really has to be... <clears throat> so, the, I mean, the upside to that is you're working remotely, basically. Uh, for your company, so it's a big advantage. But it means that the, any communal space, like you don't have a, sh or do you, is there a shared printer, photocopier? The communal moomer is microwave. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, Doctor Akara, we don't have a beast killer, so there's no point sending him on here. Plus, I don't want to lose the four commandos anyway. So you ship there. Any chance you can help me out? All I need is a little scrap so me and mine can get something to eat. I guarded Omnis for House Telos. They couldn't fight themselves. I mean, I don't really want to help him, but... Hey, look, he's going to tell us about a mountain of scrap. Thanks, dude. I like quests. Today in the life of Chromo, we discuss his shared uh, office equipment pool. So, Chromo, does it bug you when the um, the neighbouring rental officer doesn't change, doesn't replace? Oh, is that the front desk girl's job? Is she supposed to like change the paper tray in the? Um, Communal printer. 
Do I want to show everyone the picture? It's just an office. Like, is everyone... Okay, I'll show everyone. There's Chromo's office. Look at this. Look at this handsome fellow down on the um, bottom left corner of the screen. Isn't he a catch? Oh, you have a printer? Oh, yeah. But, I mean, what if you need, like, batch photocopying or something? I don't know. Do you have, are there any, does the, um, so basically you can, you, the words streamer, is there anything outside of the office other than the receptionist that you and the other officers get to use? Obviously bathroom, break room, microwave. All right. We've got, no, Moogle, Moogle. <laughs> okay, they've got really low th um, things. Are these boomers? They are boomers. They're going to explodey. How much damage is that going to do? That's going to do 20 damage. This is great. Oh, look, they have to come in through here. This is even better. Sucks to be you guys. Okay. Extra frigates. <laughs> uh, I could have done it there, it would have been better. Ah, oh, you jerk. Does he have a repair thing? He doesn't. I'm going to keep that available, though. Alright, he does have a flat cannon ready to go and two dronies. Wait, that weapon's not ready for um, 30 seconds, so you can't patch them. You've got a Christmas party for work tomorrow night. You're going to wear an outfit so good looking, it might kill a few people on your way in. That sounds like a pretty good plan, dude. Um, can you be selective about that? Oh, we can jump here. We took one, two, three. So four, five. Oh, we have to jump here. Oh, so I should have gone there. Did I miss jump last time? Oh, uh, you guys. Get me talking. Don't pay attention to game. I blame you guys. Oh, this is the fake play thing. Let's just run away. Because um, otherwise they steal our dudes. 
and we have to blow up our own dudes. Well, we do have a mercenary outpost that we can't afford anyone. Okay, is it worth selling something? Like maybe a crappy boomer drone? We don't even have boomer drone to pick up. I think we need to pick up someone, right? Do they have a good soldier? Oh, that's got she's got three. And she's got hacking. We don't have hacking, but we do have demo. Matthias also has that, but we have a lot of those abilities already. We don't have any of those. That's another weapon reload, though. That's really bad. Probably better than heat, though. So that covers two spots. That one will also cover two spots we don't have. That does nothing for the ship. That one will only cover one spot we don't have. But having three is definitely better for the clone mandos. What's the other three B? That's so bad, right? Because we have both two of those. So if anything, we take Yale Lopez, who does nothing for the ship. I do have to sell some drones to do it, but I think we do. Uh, I don't know if I like this idea. <laughs> You're trying to, <laughs> trying to work out what to wear, hey? <clears throat> okay. little concerned about that. Hack the mainframe specialist. Hey, we this, she's just going to pay herself off. We just bought hacking. It gave us a Tesla field generator, which isn't bad. Probably not as good as a cannon, is it? Only if they move, don't move out of it. <clears throat> 4 DPS for 8 seconds. I mean, it can do 32 damage. It does have a really quick reload, which makes it kind of okay. I think if you can last longer, the um, cannon's better. Especially for the little fella. The, the Mark II is much better because you get too wide. Yeah, okay, let's stay with what we've got. And now hopefully we do okay on this um, planetary mission. Yeah, I never really used to dress up much, so it was nice when we did. We had something that, you know, everyone used to whinge at things where we were forced to wear a tie, and I'm like, oh, it's nice. It's, you know, it's fun sometimes to, like, put on a suit and wear a tie. Uh, we don't have the scrap. Ooh, nice. Hey, Egg Fried Cheese, Twitch gave you a Corsadil toothpaste Ad advert. Huh. Ask how we can help the colony. We don't have the scrap. I've got, I've got, I've got three scrap, dude. Ooh. 
Oh, this is looking good. <clears throat> okay. Lose between 0 and 3, but only get 25 to 50% resources. I'm pretty sure Battleship Wreckage is only scrap as well. So that's good on Clemandos. Between 1 and 9 for 57 to 84. I think we're going to have to do it. We need to get some extra scrap up. We've got a couple of Clemandos to spare, so hopefully it doesn't go awful. That's true. Our dental hygiene is, is important. I mean, we're not going to deny that. Who was the other one I could have sent? She had, like, hacking, fighting, demolition. Okay, well, that... She wouldn't have got those ones. Okay, if we can get out of there without losing too many Clemandos. That oh, means retreat's going to be not an option. Because that's like... Okay, so retreat's probably going to be... Yeah, we get nothing back. Or we can get... Or all of them die, yeah. So this is where it's it's good to spend. The problem is spending... Oh, we got fuel. Spending scrap on getting better results out of this is possibly scrap you should have spent somewhere else. But it means you're in poop here. Uh, it's not too bad. I got to Elysium. Nice. Yeah, we were in Elysium last night. It's, um... It's rough, those those pink butterfly balls, man. The pink butterfly balls. It took a while. I think it took like five or six runs before we beat off. Took a couple of a t couple of runs before we got to Meg, and then like four deaths to Meg, but then she hasn't won since. Okay. Proximity repair is really nice. Oh, no, no, it's not the one I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the hull repair. My mistake. This one's not too bad, but not good. Um, well, they both have it. No, then nothing standing out points-wise. We're missing, like, one from each spot. No, we're only missing... We've got one, two, three... Missing um, persuasion and piloting. I don't, uh, sharp senses and piloting. Yeah, Hydra's cool. Cool fight. I like Hydra fight. Um, fuel is okay. Let's see what upgrades we might want. Because we're just doing the jump, right? Yeah. So we can't afford a ship dock. That'll be after this fight. <laughs> Extra weapon support is a maybe. Should put you somewhere. Squadron dock recovery. Faster squadron healing. Take the extra hull in case we screw up. It's not a bad option. Hey, Titaveal. <clears throat> What'd you do that for? You fell asleep at 7am. Yeah, that happens. The Neo End Child gives you a 51% chance of beating me, hey? Well, good luck. Flack. Why do they all have flack?
And he doesn't know where to go. So here's the question, do we go for their hull? No, don't be greedy, just be patient. That's coming in as well. Yeah? I think it was, Cheetahville. <clears throat> you haven't seen me play this? bigger version of the like the, the 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 grand scheme of the game is very similar to the grand scheme of ftl um but it's got this uh sort of grid based combat Oof. guys like they're trying i should put something else out i think that's the issue i need to be putting something else out for this okay that's how we're going to get a whole plate i think Boomers. Get out of there. Could have probably pushed it to be on fire. Oh, could have probably not missed as well. Play the patient game, pants. Play the patient game. Yeah, they run out of ships. We only we can have a maximum of twelve, but we get to repair ours. Plus, we're gonna pair off against them because they're AI, right? Um, and you can, like on normal, what was happening is that you'd find a break where at the end of one of these little skirmishes, you'd do okay. Like here.
and you would um no. I'm being greedy again. Am I gonna get punished? No punish. Might I punish? I think I got very lucky there. Like, ridiculously lucky. <clears throat> but I shouldn't have been going for that. And if he's quick enough... No, we can always heat up his weapon. Yeah, I should have just, I've been saying to myself, every time I get that chance to go out there and do something, I keep saying, oh, like, don't do it, just wait till the end and... Okay. Everything will be fine. I just hit my own dudes. Panicking. But I don't need to, like this is comfortable. If I don't screw up, I just save myself scrap for the later later fights. <clears throat> yeah, so on normal you could you'd get that break where you'd be like, okay, and you'd have enough time and you'd rush in, you'd take a whole plate off them. But trying to follow that through um, on hard has just got me killed. Like, you just need to sit back and wait it out. So now he's got only, he only has a weapon that can, can't do damage to us. It can do damage to our ships. We just put our ships out at full health and everything was fine. Except for them, because 